Okay, we're here with Coach Wilcox for his media availability on Tuesday. Go ahead and let me know in the chat if you have questions for him. Kyle, I need permission. Yes, we'll do that, Jake. So go ahead and let me know in the chat and I'll call the first person I see here in the chat. We'll go ahead and get started with uh, Jim McGill. Go ahead, Jim. Hey, Coach. In, in reviewing the, uh, the struggles with the offense, particularly the offensive line, um, have you looked at uh, changes besides, you know, just guys playing their position better, any personnel stuff, any extra eyes coming in? I know I've asked you that before, but obviously things evolve during the season and things get more, I don't know, um, crucial at this point when you're getting into the meteor schedule. Anything you can add on that? Yeah, well, it's all, every game's crucial. You know, that's how we're, it's a performance, performance-based business. That's what we're into. And for the, coaches and players alike. Um, we have made a couple adjustments, you know, with our lineup this season and that there's a, a potential that could still uh, evolve in this week and in coming weeks. And in terms of personnel, we did add uh, an analyst to the staff who's familiar with us and Steve Greatwood, he joined us Sunday and uh, extra set of eyes, a uh, person who's you know, universally respected, uh, not only as an offensive line coach, but as a uh, offensive coach and, uh, you know, eyes and ears and uh, maybe a little fresh perspective and, and a, any chance to help make the program better. And he's here to support our staff and uh, we welcome him back. Thanks. Okay, we'll go to Jake Curtis from Cal Sports Report. Yeah, Justin, what, what, what is your level of involvement in the offense in terms of personnel and scheme? And, and will that change? Will you be involved more now? Um, yeah, I don't call the plays. I don't, uh, uh, there's no mandates on what groups to run or what plays to run. The, the involvement on game day is generally the clock into the half, into the game when we're going for it on fourth down. Um, we do talk about personnel uh, and position changes or who's playing, uh, you know, whether it's in the rotation or if we're making a change from a, at a position, I'm involved with those. Um, the coaches obviously have uh, their input and then I'll have mine, uh, but that would be at the extent of my involvement. So yeah, ultimately I'm responsible for all, all of this, Jake and, uh, I'm responsible for the performance of the team. And then the coaches are responsible for their individual units or their positions. And the players are responsible for their individual play on the field. Are, are you satisfied with the performance of your offensive coaches? None of us are satisfied on where we are as a team. And so uh, we need to perform better. There's no secret. I mean, there's no excuse for us not to be playing better and we got to score. We got to put the ball in the end zone. And we as coaches, myself and our offensive coaches have to give our players uh, better answers. And um, whether that means technique, whether that means schematics, whether it means adjustment and who's playing, um, we have to do, we have to give them better answers. And the players, when they have the opportunity and they know what to do and they have the tools, the techniques to, to do it, then they're responsible for making the play on Saturday. And so uh, it's shared, but ultimately I take full responsibility for the performance of the team and we're not performing well enough on offense right now. And, and just to, to be clear, did you say you were increasing your involvement with the offense now or, or not? I mean, I, the, the in, I wouldn't say it increases or decreases. I mean, the, the kind of the methodology that we use is the same. I'm not going to, I'm not calling plays, Jake. That's not my uh, expertise. That's not my background. Um, obviously we have to do better on that side. I will give my input. I do that every week. I sit and watch the game. I evaluate the game on my own and I, I'll meet with the offense and talk about the game and watch it with them. And, um, but in terms of uh, calling plays or coaching the positions, that's not, not my job. I take responsibility for it, but the coaches uh, are here to coach their positions and they take 
responsibility for their positions. And as I mentioned, the players take responsibility for their individual play. Thanks. Okay, we'll move to Steve Croner from the San Francisco Chronicle. Yeah, Justin, kind of following up on that and, and going back to your uh, post-game news conference on Saturday where you said, you know, if we don't play to our ability, we can lose to anybody, basically. I'm thinking at some, at some point this week or whatever, do you need to flip that a little bit to boost your players' confidence, which I'm guessing is not quite at its highest level at the moment? You know, if we do play to our potential – we can handle, or we can certainly compete with anybody. Do you have to, to go through that yeah, mindset, we, or am I? Older yeah, we talk older? about that all the time. We talked about it yesterday. We talk about it in each and every meeting. When when they perform at their best, that becomes their standard as an individual or as a unit. So if, if an individual goes out and plays his best game, well, that's his new standard. And if the unit does that, when the unit when I, if when the unit does that, well, that's their new standard, and that's what you hold them to. So uh, once they have demonstrated the ability to do it that becomes the standard and anything less than the standard isn't acceptable it's not good enough and so we have seen it we have seen it in stretches uh you know from the offense the defense the special teams and we've seen it uh in games you know but not consistently enough and so it's our job to identify why not and get them back to playing at their standard or raise the bar on their level of play and so yeah absolutely but I, my point was um, that if you don't do that, anybody, anybody can beat you. And if you play to your standard and up to your potential, then you can beat anybody. And we've shown that as well. So, yeah, absolutely. We talk like that. Um, but to build confidence, Steve, confidence is not something that we wrap up in a package and set on their doorstep. Yeah. Confidence is earned through preparation and performance, you know, and so. We have to give them, you have to prepare, I mean, to, to play well and perform well, you have to prepare well, okay? So it's a prerequisite prerequisite for building confidence is preparation, but the element of performance is critical as well. And we've seen it at points in time. We have not seen it consistently enough, especially the last two weeks. Mundane questions about uh, two guys who were hurt in the game on Saturday, uh, Jeremiah Hunter and Lumaya Hearns. Are they okay? What's, what's their status for this coming Saturday? Day to day. Thank you. Okay, okay we'll go to back to Jim McGill. Yeah, in the same vein, there were, there were some other guys that seemed like they were beat up. Are there any that you know are going to be out this Saturday that are additions to the previous guys that were out? Nothing to report yet, Jim. Okay. Okay, uh, we'll go to Jeff Ferrato. Go ahead, Jeff. One more on the injury front. Justin, it seems like Trey Pastor, as far as I know, hasn't played in a while. What's his status? He is uh, battling a kind of nagging injury, um, but should be available to play. But he's he's uh, unfortunately kind of been battling through a, an injury this year. Can you talk about what you see um, from the Huskies offense? They've been very explosive, and in particular from uh, the quarterback Penix and wh what problems he uh, presents. They're very good up front. Uh, their offensive line is very talented and play well together. The receivers are very talented. There's multiple guys that have the ability to make big plays. The running backs uh, do a good job. The tight end is a talented guy and then the quarterback makes it go. I mean, they're averaging 42 points a game and 500 plus yards a game. I think 380 throwing it. Uh, so there's a lot of weapons and they're good at what they do. The, again, again, the offensive line is is uh, done a really good job too. They they just don't get the same amount of notoriety, maybe. And, and Penix, what what are his particular skills, and what makes him so prolific? Very good rhythm, very accurate, and is decisive on where he's going with the ball. If it's not there on time, he can also uh, he stays calm and will extend the play and. Uh, make plays that are off schedule. Can you talk generally about just the overall quality of the quarterbacking in the conference? And especially there are so many transfers that came in who are having huge impacts on, on more than half the teams in the league and including all the teams at the top. Yeah, I think it's a ex exceptional quarterback play in the conference this year. 
I haven't seen them all because we haven't played everybody, but you see enough on tape if you follow someone. So I think I've seen most of them now on, on cutups. So it's exceptional quarterback play. Do you, do you think this is um, the, the, the new wave that we're going to be seeing indefinitely where teams plug in a quarterback that they got out of the transfer portal rather than sort of traditionally developing a guy? It seems to be that way this year. Um, there's still really good high school quarterbacks out there. So I guess it depends on what your room is like. Okay, thanks. Hey, we'll go to Rob Huang from uh, Right for California. Hey, Coach. Um, just from our count from rewatching the game, we didn't uh, we didn't notice Femi getting any defensive snaps. Was was that just is that correct? First of all, and then second of all, is uh, was that just something that you guys saw in the game plan to other guys might be better matchups against that Colorado offense? You're correct, and we have high hopes for Femi, and he's. Uh, continuing to grow as a person, as a player, and look forward to him contributing to the team. Um, but he did not play on on Saturday. You're correct. Okay. Is there anybody with a final question for Coach? Okay. Thank you, Coach.